white, white, white. So I traded in my whole entire home studio to fit everything in here. And... <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. You have to so I traded in a whole entire studio and fit everything in these two bags. So for about the last year and a half, two years, I've been trying to figure out how I can put a whole entire home studio together uh, while traveling and getting the same quality and the same workflow I would get from my home tower PC. Um, so I'm gonna go over what I have in my bag and what I usually carry with me. I'll have a lot of core things and I'll also have a lot of things that make my life a little bit easier. So we're gonna start with this bag right here. All right, so I carry the brains of the operation inside this bag. This is the Mono uh, EFX Flyby, I think that's the name of it. And it's got everything I need. It's got all these great pockets, uh, pockets where you wouldn't think there are pockets. So we're gonna just go ahead and start bringing stuff out. So the first thing is my MacBook Pro. This is a 2019 i9, I think, I wanna say it's maxed out, I forget, but I think it's maxed out. Uh, and it allows me to do so much just cause I tend to use a lot more synths and VSTs than sampling. And sometimes I just don't have the patience to freeze it down and turn it and convert it into a WAV file. Uh, all right, so that's that. An Asus second screen, so it's, I think this is the Zen screen, 15 and a half inch. It allows me to work a little bit faster just cause uh, I like using two screens rather than one. It's nice to have two screens. Oh, these little things actually come in handy if you go to more humid places. These are silicon, sil uh, silica gel. And it's basically the same thing as the little packets that you get in like your sneakers or your vitamins. They just soak up humidity. And the great thing about these is that they're reusable. So they've come in handy. I'm actually filming from Tulum right now and it's really hot and things get kind of humid and these have been saving my equipment. Also have a notebook just to write down some notes, things I need to do, thoughts for the day. It's always good to journal in the morning. This is my MIDI controller or my MIDI keyboard. It is the Novation Launch Key Mini. It's the Mark III, it's I think the newest one. I also have the larger Novation launch key at home, so it was just natural for me to get this one too. It's lightweight, it looks good. It has pads and knobs. And who doesn't like a good pad? Who doesn't like a good knob? Next is my actual, uh, my other MIDI keyboard, or not MIDI keyboard, my actual other Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, this is a gridded cocoon and it kind of holds a lot of my stuff together. I'll put this there. This is wireless, like a wireless mic for the camera, just in case I need to do some stuff that requires me to move far away from the camera. Luckily this time I have a Rode shotgun mic attached to the camera right now. Ah, power bank. Nintendo Switch. We got this part compartment. It has a lot of pockets, this thing, so I keep extra chargers. Um, so I got some extra pesos in here. Ah, this one. This is also the brains of the operation. I have my four terabyte Samsung solid state drive, and I also have a one terabyte to back up like a lot of my projects and a bunch of like thumb drives in here. The four terabytes important. Uh, I put a lot of videos on here too and I also put a lot of my projects just in case this something happens to, happens to this. I'll back up all my Ableton projects inside Dropbox. So I have along with this and this, a three terabyte account with Dropbox. Magic Mouse, business cards, just keep them in here. Max, some cash, and we're gonna move on to the Pelican Air 1535 Travel, which um, has been a lifesaver of mine. Hey, hey, hey. 
All right, now we're moving on to the next thing and this one has some pretty important things too. So what you're not gonna see is the camera because I'm actually using that to film this right now. So let's just dive right in. Yeah. This is it, this is the Pelican 1535 Air Travel Edition and it comes with these Trek Pack dividers. So let's see what we got. I have my Bear Dynamics headphones. These are the 880 Pros and I've had them for years. They've served me so well. With this, underneath it, is my audio interface and this is a UAD Apollo Twin X Thunderbolt Edition. So with these together, I also use Sonarworks Reference 4 to kind of give the headphones a flat signal. It makes mixing a little bit easier for me. Oh, and I also use the NX Oceanways plugin by Waves because it is a dream to actually go there and work. This is a Shure SM7B microphone. I went overkill and got, looks like 24 extra rechargeable batteries. And for the Shure SM7B, the output's a little low, so what you usually need to do is get uh, something to boost this. The CL1 mic uh, activator it's by Cloudlifter. It helps the signal go through a lot louder into the audio interface. This compartment usually holds my power strip, so I bring a power strip with me just because I know a lot of places won't have it and there is a piece of hair stuck to the bottom of this. Gross. These are my batteries. Carry GoPro with me too. DJI Osmo Pocket 2, and this is for like walking and talking. This one I'll take with me onto a motorcycle or into the water with me. Just more dongle, little wires, and another lens. It's a shorter lens for the uh, Sony A6400. And then more freaking wires here so that's it and there's gonna be more videos so thanks for tuning in subscribe click the bell notification uh, to set up whatever algorithm is out there.